谢。Solar power is power that we get from the sun. Um, basically, it's a simple conversion of sunlight into electricity. The people who have got uh, hydroelectric power are few. So those people in the villages need solar systems. The grid is expensive. It would be the best one, but it's very expensive to push, given that people in the rural areas are scattered. We do not have umeme, but we have solar. It has made service delivery very easy. Because when those mothers choose to come, we could fear to deliver them in darkness. And we could just refer them to Dondo Health Center for. And it is a longer distance, it could inconvenience mothers. The fridge is ever working, and the children get immunization wherever they come. And these vaccines are ever there in the fridge. Compared to the previous, Days they used to go either to DMO's office or to Bdono Health Center to, to collect vaccines and sometimes we could reach there when they are not there. They said they are out of stock. Nyambie, okulava, no kwe yalira, no kucha jingira kama simu gafwa gawa wano waka. Tuali mbeira ambinga, katawa zakale etomu, kamunaka ni mnyumba, muko gugena mnyindo, mga katawa za. Ngeuluso te utawa za sibula babulu unji. We don't have Mumeme in this school, but good enough God blessed us with the solar system. Our students used it to go to escape, by the way, uh, to go to, to town for charging their phones. But right now everything is done within this very same place. Solar power since is not uh, under bill of a uh, certain company. You find at any time, at any moment, when the student feels he wants to go and revise, just to wake up, then he goes and what? And revise. Business here, and by Ambo Kunidida, Nimba charging Yamasim, Nibafuna, Avantu Abewala, Olam Bang, Rati Wadi, Aunga, right away a Gaza, Paka Wenaia, a Kadimo, Nembera Kokati, Nensinga Kuluri Wenali. For one who has electricity, you can use solar power either as a backup or as a first line in terms of your energy consumption. A solar system is composed of very many components. The main component is the solar panel. So on the solar panel, it works to generate electricity. Then this electricity is connected through a cable to another component called charge controller. It's a central point where you connect the panel the battery and the loads. You have to know what you're going to use on the system. The number of lights you need, the appliances you have, like a TV, a radio, and also the most important one is knowing their usage time. If we have an SME that is only probably using a few computers and uh, lights, then it's around about the same capacity as a home and therefore would have a similar solar system for that, that will be used in a home. We have the standard packages, they are packed in a box, complete ones, and we have also a custom-built system where a customer explains and we give them what he wants. The bigger the system, the more likely that we shall opt for what we call an AC system, an alternating current system. Now, <coughs> when we look at the components on a solar system. You have a solar panel, you have a charge controller, you have a battery, sometimes an inverter. If it is a small system, you do not need an inverter, especially if it's for lighting and phone charging. But if you're looking at a, a system that you're going to use, for example, for running a television, and you want to use ordinary appliances that you would use, say, in a, a city ba uh, home or office or something like that, then we need an AC system and therefore need an inverter. There are good products and bad products on the market. There is underrating. Somebody can have a solar panel, we rate them in the amount of power they can carry. Somebody can relabel the panel. Like a 50 watt panel, somebody can call it a 75 and he sells you expensively. The panel should have a serial number, should have the specific technical specification, a template behind which tells its power and where it comes from and how it's rated. People bring in 
products with bad cells. You know, like uh, the quality of the solar module in the case of crystalline modules should be the quality of the cell. So you'll find that uh, people bring in panels with the poor cells. This can be really be seen whereby somebody has a very huge module, but rated small. When you're looking for a good solar system, look out for the brand. There are institutions like Rare has gone ahead and pre-qualified companies which it thinks are giving good products. We are saying only certified products, products which have been certified by the Ghana National Bureau of Standards and which, which meet international standards are allowed to be implemented, to be sold to the customers. When you buy a solar system, insist on getting a warranty for both the entire system and the equipment or the various components. A good product should be able to go for at least two years. So if your solar dealer does not give you at least two years warranty, then you should immediately have questions about the, the type of product that you're getting. These companies are, are required to give a guarantee of one year for each installation. There are some people who, can who can't afford to pay 100% system cost. So they have to visit financial institutions. These financial institutions provide energy loans. One comes, inquires at Inako Solar Limited. We make a quotation, and that quotation is taken to Finca for approval. The loan officers at Finca, they go to assess this client at his home, whether he is able to pay back the loan. Government has set in to address the issue of affordability, the issue of affordability, and uh, in a way, we are trying to encourage, uh, promote credit, promote credit through financial institutions. We now have six who, who, who that are participating. Uh, this is a um, Post Bank, uh, this is Finca Uganda, um, Opportunity Uganda. Uh, United Bank of Africa, we have um, um, Dimension Centenary Bank, and then uh, Uganda Finance Trust. About 100 circles have already signed agreements with various you know, solar companies. Currently, the government is providing consumer subsidies for whatever whoever is borrowing to buy what? To buy a solar system. Whenever a solar system is installed for you or for anyone, insist on getting basic training, on being told what the do's and don'ts for a solar system are. The advice I give to any use of a solar system, just keep it clean. We have batteries that are wet acid or they basically need to, to have water topped up once in a while. Solar is not a replacement of the main of the of hydro for instance and the, and the simple reason is that solar is limited in use and yet actually the hydro or the main grid electricity is, is not which is mainly supplied by hydro is not limited you cannot is unlimited you can you can always plug in more equipment and so on but for solar you have to determine beforehand the ministry of energy through GIZ realized the challenge of failure of systems in the field. That was that whenever we used to survey, you find that people in the village, whenever there is a problem, they look for electricians who are trained in electrical. But you find these people didn't have background on solar. So these people used to spoil, bypass the regulator to make the system work, which ended up spoiling the batteries. So the minister, after identifying that issue, decided to remove the knowledge gap, we introduced the curriculum on solar PV. There are 44 institutions which, are big, which, which were trained and over 150 tutors were trained and it's called STEP, which is Solar Technician Education Program. And also the ministry, through information dissemination, exhibitions, we always have energy efficiency week, whereby we can tell people the good products. Right now with GIZ, uh, we are supporting a program called Access to Solar, aimed at developing the capacity on the ground. It's aimed at giving the, um, the dealers the confidence 
and the, the basic training components that they need in order to operate effectively. And in the rural areas, many people can see outlets or shops that have been branded with the access to solar logo or what slogan that we are using in terms of letting people know that this dealer has been approved, has been found to offer a fairly quality product. Access to solar is a program that enables people in villages and in towns to acquire solar systems of high quality. Access to solar helps us to, to promote our business, like uh, giving us money for promotions, yeah, so, so, such that we can reach to our end user customers. Solar power is a renewable energy and uh, it's available. We have uh, the sunshine available here and therefore it is easy to you know, tap. And also when you look at solar, it's environmentally friendly. Where you put it, no noise, no smoke. The quality of light is better than it had over, like these local candles we are using. So solar would definitely help to improve social services like education, children can read at night or even schools can have children improve their environment but also most importantly health services because maybe a health center can have light. Everybody is a target for solar.